Okay, so that was just a little background on the uh, effect of the tuning anomaly, uh, the tuning third, we call it. If you look at the root and you go down to the, uh, the sixth, no matter what the key, you'll see uh, that, but it's easy on this one. So the root could be anything. But that six, if you just put numbers to it, you'll see that tuning third right there come out. And the magic circle, you know, I made a circle out of this and it actually does have some properties that led to the string shapes. So this kind of led to the, to the string shapes. When we got into start a cage from any, from any string. And just a little quick review for start cage from any string. So if we start, um, I guess, a, a, a G shape from the second string. So we'll find a G shape here. It starts on six right there. The rule is that you go up a fourth and it'll become a C shape. So you go up a fourth, you just, for every string away from the bottom string, it becomes a C shape. It also works in fifths, but you don't want to have to go up four fifths in, in, when you can only go down, you know, or one, two, three, four, yeah when you can just go down one fourth. But it'll work in fifths too. So fifth of G is D, fifth of D is A, fifth of A is E, fifth of E is C. You see how it works out to be the same? You want to find out what that bottom string shape is. So start a G shape from the second string and it becomes a C shape. Let's start that G shape. So we'll find a six to make it easy. Here's a six on the second string. All right, well, it's gonna be way up here. I'm gonna play it down a little further. So it's gonna be right here. Here's your, by the way, here's your, here's your G shape in the key of C. Okay, now start that from the second string, and it's going to become a C shape. Oh, got to warp up with the tuning, the tuning warp on that on that fifth string from the bottom, and it does indeed put it to a C shape. So that gives you that bottom string because you started on the top. You know what to do to the bottom it's going to be a fourth away so from the g so we've advanced from start cage from any any string we've advanced it till we know what's going on so if you're on a g shape right here you know that you just go up a fourth in string shapes and you have your c shape underneath you go uh, up a fifth in string shapes for the uh, d shape above it that's how the string shapes link up Okay, now when you're going in cage, you're gonna to have to share the seven root. So with the G, which is six, seven root, in cage, C, A, G, E is the next string shape. So it's gonna be seven root two shared, that seven root with the G. But to go to the next, uh, to go a fourth up to the next, uh, a fourth over, the fourth of G is D right there. Okay, if you're going the other, if, actually go up in fifth. So the fifth of G is D. And going to the left, if you want to go over a whole string shape, not a shared string shape. So you're not going to go up a pentatonic scale to the left. Okay, to you go up a pentatonic scale to A to the left, but then you'd have to share the six. With six, seven root G, you don't want to share that six with A. You want to go completely to the next note, so you don't want to kind of. If, if you're playing like a, if you're playing like down here, I can get it on my guitar. Six seven root right, G shape, and you want to go to the left. You're going to go up pentatonic scale from G to A. That's cool if you want to play. 
and kind of pause on that shared note. But if you want to go completely to the next shape, you got to go G. And you're going to go the fourth of G to C shape, right? Now, it takes me lower, too low to do that. So let's go up one string. Uh, so we can start on our A here. Here's our here's our G shape. Now we're on the third string, so we're gonna we're we're up maybe here a G shape right here. See, it's it's always available to you. Okay, so your G shape is gonna go to a C shape. Fourth of G is C going to the left. So it's six seven root. Five, four, three. See, we didn't share any notes. What's C going to go to? We're going to the left. It's going to go up. C goes to D. So, without sharing notes, five, four, three, and then two, root seven. Seven root two is your D. Is actually it's your E shape. Okay, what happened there? Okay, if we're on C shape, to the left we're going to go to the 4th of C, 4th of C is F, but no, we're going to have a diminished 4th because of the tuning 3rd effects. So C is going to go, C shape is going to go to E shape. Not D shape, sorry. Now in caged, when we're on C, so it's 3, 4, 5, we're going to share that 4 and 3 and go to the D shape there. That's up a pentatonic scale. Okay, D goes to C, as in the word caged, and then start again, caged, caged. D goes to C. Okay, then C goes to A, etc., etc. So let's get to shape fitting. So as you saw me playing those pentatonics, I noticed when I when I started a G shape and went up the strings, and I said warp up for that C shape. That's shape fitting. There's two kinds of shape fitting. Okay, we're finally getting to the. Uh, sometimes we don't even get to the chart of the day. <clears throat> so first is pattern fitting. Okay, this this is a third type. The third type is, is, is kind of pattern fitting the long patterns. So you're not left not knowing what it is at all if this is new to you. With the capo, I had to come up with some longer patterns because I couldn't get the regular lead patterns or finger barred patterns below the fret nut can't play them. So we had to do a different pattern. So we did root two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> and as you know, five, six is an A shape. <clears throat> okay. And the fifth of A is E. So it goes to that E seven root two. Seven root two for the key of E is um, D sharp, E, and F sharp. So that's pattern fitting a little bit in a nutshell. Uh, right down here was that E we were playing. Oh God, we gotta take a year to scroll down there, right? Okay, here we go. It did it again. It, it took me up to the top. Okay, my my program is is you have to get the mouse on. Uh, you have to get the cursor where you're. Actually, this is an advantage. Once you get the cursor on what you're zooming into, I was zooming into the wrong thing. <clears throat> I thought that was on the top of it. So here's what we just did in the key of E. Okay, the normal E pattern, all right, is going to have root 2 and then 3, 5. So this three, this three, uh, these notes here, th this whole fret practically, okay, see if I can do this. This whole fret would be like over here, kind of thing, and then we'll kind of.